Welcome back. Well, most people know the Red Cross for responding during big natural disasters, but they're also there to help keep communities safe and prevent disasters. And this weekend, the Red Cross is sounding the alarm for homes without working smoke detectors. So here now is Red Cross volunteer Eddie Zamora. So thanks for being here. You guys do this uh, event a lot. Let's remind people what is the sound the alarm event? How can people get involved? Well, we are excited to always participate in sound the alarms uh, across the different communities of Central California. And what it entails is a one day event where volunteers come out, they get trained day of, they get a light breakfast, they get a cool t-shirt, they get to partner with the fire department and who doesn't like to work with the fire firefighters and see the fire trucks, but then they go home by home, right. installing smoke alarms and yes. providing life-saving education. Yes, and uh, sometimes this is a chore around the house that, and especially in communities where you you might have burdens that, that are um, maybe sort of, they take precedent over the chirping smoke alarm. You know, they, they've got other things that they're worrying about, or maybe they're elderly, or they can't get to the smoke alarm. And so this is when we get to come in and make sure that those things are working, because how important is it for homes to have working smoke detectors? It is so important. And actually, by having a working smoke alarm, it can reduce the likelihood of uh the fatality in a home by half. Oh, wow. So not only that, but then when you pair that with the education piece, right. it really provides Central Valley uh, families and individuals a chance to be able to survive a home fire. Right, so our volunteers, uh, they will go in, they will replace the smoke detectors, and then they'll also have a chance to talk with the families mm -hmm. about having an escape plan, having a plan if there's an emergency, and what will these families learn when they get their smoke detectors and they you know, interact with the Red Cross volunteer, what will they learn? Learn. They will learn how to, for instance, if they're cooking and uh -huh. something burns, they can learn how to go ahead and, and turn it off. Oh, that's a good uh, so it's, uh, it's, <laughs> I, it's, I might need to know that. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, they will learn how to test it each month. Yeah. The great thing about these smoke alarms is they last for 10 years with uh, great batteries in it that you don't have to change. But they'll also go through uh, with the volunteer and work out an escape plan yeah. and provide some information on how often they need to have drills as a family. They'll take some information and give them some pointers on how to do that with different uh, members of your household. So a great day of education. Yeah. A great, we're getting the task done yeah. around the house. How often should we be checking smoke detectors? You should check it uh, monthly. Oh. Um, but uh, but especially during time changes when we say yes. uh, to really go through and, and check your smoke alarms. And make sure they're all working. Yeah. And the fire drill you know, you should do that with your family as, as often as you can at, in the evening and in the daytime. That way your kids get used to yes. being able to navigate that, oh, yeah, whether that's it's a great uh, point. evening or... How yeah. exactly do you check a smoke detector? So there's some <laughs> buttons on there, right? And so you've been on Zoom calls or, you know, of you can course. hear them chirping in the oh, background. Yeah. So that's when you know you have to change the battery. Yes. But there's a button you could go ahead and hold and let it go off, and then you could see if it's working. Sometimes got they'll have a light. Another way got it. Says. Yeah, you got to get that ladder. Got to get up there and yeah. make sure that your smoke detectors are working. Okay, so you're looking for volunteers. How do people volunteer? Do they have to have been volunteers with you before, or is anybody invited to help you guys? Everybody's invited. This work would not be possible without amazing volunteers, community partners, and donors. So they can go to our website on soundalarm.org slash CCR to look for uh, events. We're actually having one tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Um, in West Fresno. And so we'd love to have people come out. Uh, and that would be the best way to go ahead and register so we can make sure we have a t-shirt for you and a space for you. And, uh, and that there's enough light breakfast for yes, everybody. Yes, for everybody. How, how many homes will you guys get to tomorrow when you do your Sound the Alarm event? So the goal is to install 445 smoke alarms. Oh, wow. Tomorrow. So it's a big goal. And I have no doubt with all the amazing volunteers that are coming out that we're going to exceed that goal. Yeah, you guys always have tons, tons yeah. of volunteers and tons of help going out. When you do, when you personally do do the sound the alarm event and you volunteer what do you get out of it how do you feel afterwards you know this is the one thing that i think is so fascinating about this event is you are invited in someone's home mm -hmm. and that's a very humbling experience but by the time you leave you're leaving them in a better state than when you first walked in yeah knowing that especially when you see kids uh -huh. and 
maybe parents that are elderly, mm -hmm. um, you just feel so much better. Yeah. That they're much better prepared now in the event of a home fire. And sometimes when you volunteer, uh, you know, I volunteer, and it can feel very sort of um, theoretical, or it can feel very sort of like out of reach of, of getting that actual uh, satisfaction of knowing that you've done something to help somebody. And when you walk out of the house, you know that there's a working smoke yep. detector, and that will help them. And it, it just it feels great to know that you've actually done something to help a family here in the Central Valley. We will have information if you'd like to volunteer for the upcoming Sound the Alarm event that's happening tomorrow. We'll put the link online. Eddie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being a Red Cross volunteer. We appreciate it. Still to come here, local irrigation company Netafim celebrated World Water Day, the water conservation project they created with local students next.